is January of 2023, and this is just going to be a really fast muscle memory test. So this is going to be a muscle review test, and I'm gonna have my eyes closed, eyes blindfolded, so you know it's all for memory. I'm going to cover as many muscles as possible. I'm not going to list every action, origin, and insertion, but I'll do my best to make it not just a bunch of muscles with names without any context. I'll try to actually point to them and give some examples and actions as I go. Okay, ready, set, go. Tibialis anterior, tibialis posterior, gastrocnemius and the soleus for the calf, fibularis longus and fibularis brevis, the peroneal slip. I can't, you can't see, I can't see, okay. Plantaris and popliteus are two small muscles in the knee. Then we get to the thigh, and there are four quads. Rectus femoris on top, vastus medius, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis. For the hamstring, there are the semi-tendinosus, semi-membranosus, and the bicep femoris for the three hamstrings. The adductors, you have adductor magnus, adductor longus, adductor brevis, pectineus, and gracilis. Uh, there are five adductors on the inner thigh. For the glutes, there is gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, and gluteus maximus. I'm not going to abbreviate any of, this, any of these. I want to try to make it as technical as possible. Um, there is the psoas major and the psoas minor for the hip flexors and the iliacus. That's another one. When you get to the thigh, there are some other unique muscles like the sartorius runs at a weird angle. The IT band, the iliotibial band, or the iliotibial track, all the same name for the IT band. The tensor fascia latte, the TFL, is right here. And I think that's it for leg. There are definitely more. I just don't, I don't think of any of them right now. So we'll go into the torso. The transverse abdominis, the rectus abdominis, the internal obliques and the external obliques, the diaphragm for breathing, the pyramidalis, it's like a small muscle in some people. The sternalis, the same. Pectoralis major and pectoralis minor. The internal intercostals and the external intercostals are two muscles and two sets of muscles in the ribs that help with breathing. The serratus anterior, and then on the backside, the serratus, this one is so dumb. There's the serratus posterior superior and the serratus posterior inferior. And those also help with breathing. The trapezius is the big muscle on the back. The latissimus dorsi is the middle back. Okay, I'm gonna ramble through a few of them. Teres minor, teres major, supraspinitis, infraspinitis, and subscapularis. Teres major is last little helper, and the other four of those are the rotator cuff muscles. Rhomboid major and rhomboid minor. Um, where am I at, roughly? Girl, I have no idea. <laughs> it's okay. Um, I forgot how to do tallying. It's all good. I think it's um, a 50. Yeah. 50-ish? Okay. The levator scapula elevates the scapula. The deltoid shoulder, then to the arm next. The biceps brachii, yeah, biceps brachii, triceps brachii, the anconius, brachialis, brachioradialis, coracobrachialis. There are so many forearm muscles. Palmaris longus, flexor digitorum profundus, flexor digitorum superficialis are the flexors. Um, I want to say flexor carpi radialis longus and flexor carpi radialis brevis are the two four-worded flexor muscles. And then on the opposite side, so that's all the flexors. The extensors, you have the extensor carpi ulnaris, 30 seconds left. And the, uh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna go into neck and head and face. Um, anterior scalene, middle scalene, posterior scalene, sternal fatal mastoid, platysma, masseter, temporalis, frontalis, occipitalis, mentalis, zygomaticus major, zygomaticus minor, orbicularis Three, oris. Two. One. Uh, I don't know what we're at. <laughs> I have a few more though. I, that was most, most of the muscles. That was a lot. Um, I won't even lie to you. I didn't realize that some of these muscles were gonna be three words for one thing. Explain as many more as I can. Orbicularis oris, orbicularis or oculi, 
orbicularis oculi or the eye muscles. You have the nasalis, procerius, the vader anguli oris, and the depressor anguli oris around the mouth. Um, Corjugator supercilli, supercilli is is one. Um, there's there's definitely more. Um, okay, uh, last few would be the the platysma, the stylohyoid, the omohyoid, the sternothyroid, the digastric is one. The digastric. Um, I don't want to forget any. Pec major, pec minor, deltoid. Like I'm missing something super important. Um, oh, the quadratus lumborum is a deep ab muscle in the torso and the back muscles. So the, the big back muscles of the spinalis, longissimus, iliocostalis, those are the erector spinae group. And then when you get to the neck, you've got higher levels of that, the splenius capitis, the splenius cervicis, and the semispinalis capitis, and the multifidy and the rotatoris are each two sets of muscles. They're like small muscles all up the spine that are just helpful for rotation and twisting, I think. Um, that's pretty much it. Going back to forearm for the last few things I can search in my brain. Extensor indices is for the finger and the extensor digitorum and the extensor digiti minimi and palmaris longus. And I think that's it, I think that's all I got. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs>